The F-111 Aardvark is supersonic, medium-range, multi-role combat aircraft. Production models of the F-111 had roles that included attack, strategic bombing, including nuclear weapons capabilities, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. Developed in the 1960s by General Dynamics, the F-111 entered service in 1967 with the United States Air Force. The General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark was a low-altitude strike plane born out of a shotgun wedding between competing Air Force and Navy requirements, with Defense Secretary McNamara as the minister. Despite its troubled adolescence, it grew into a capable high-tech night bomber that lasted decades in service, noted for its sleekly elegant profile. Meet the F-111 Aardvark. The designers of the F-111 faced a challenge. They needed a plane that could fly at very high speeds, but still take off or land on a short runway. Using smaller wings would create less drag, allowing the aircraft to fly faster, but also create less lift. The F-111 was built around two powerful yet fuel-efficient TF-30 turbofan engines with new afterburner technology. A capacious fuselage could accommodate bomb loads of up to 31,000 pounds and fuel for missions up 2,500 miles long, with external tanks adding another 1,000 miles. The large plane weighed 20 tons empty, or more than twice that loaded. F-111 Aardvark called the pig. The F-111's designers adopted the new technology of variable geometry, or swing wings. These permitted the wings to swing out during takeoff to generate maximum lift, and then would tuck inward mid-flight to achieve higher speeds. The F-111 was the first of several major designs that used the technology. This allowed F-111S to fly as low as 200 feet above the surface and make precise adjustments at high speed without crashing, even when flying at night or in bad weather conditions. The F-111's talent for hunting in darkness, nose close to the ground, was what earned it the appellation F-111 Aardvark called the pig. The pigs were the pride of Australian air shows where they frequently performed a maneuver in which fuel was dumped and ignited with the afterburners, known as the dump and burn. Australia upgrades its F-111S to use anti-shipping missiles and converted four into reconnaissance aircraft. Due to their high operating costs, however, they were finally replaced by 24 F-18F Super Hornets. Desert Storm Desert Storm was the Aardvark's last hurrah. The F-111 was finally withdrawn from U.S. Air Force service in 1998. Though the Aardvark was good at its job, it had high maintenance costs, and the Air Force judged that its fleet of F-15E Strike Eagles could take care of shorter-range attack missions, while B-1 bombers could handle longer-range strikes. Variants 563 F-111S of all variants were built. After the F-111A, the F-111D and E models upgraded the Aardvark's electronics and engine inlets and increased the thrust of the engines. Another variant, the FB-111, was designed as a strategic bomber with improved engines, stretched two feet longer to accommodate additional fuel. Seventy-five of these served in strategic air command units. The definitive F-111F sported engines with 35% more thrust, an upgraded radar and a PAVTAC infrared targeting pod that allowed crew to identify targets on the ground and hit them with precision-guided munitions. <laughs>